Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here with the Tinkercad Glowforge combo lesson. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends. So, this is a tiny little jet that I cut out on the Glowforge. Uh, it is launchable and it cuts in less than two minutes. So, my friends, let me show you how to build it. Of course, step one is going to be to create new design. We are going to start by naming it. This is going to be Tiny Jet. I've made more than one, so I'm going to call this Tiny Jet 2. We're going to build with a cylinder. I need you to bring this guy out, click on his corner, and I want you to type 150 for this one. So you're gonna build my jet the first time, but what's sweet is this is totally modifiable once you understand the skills. My cardboard is four millimeters thick. We're gonna build everything for that cardboard, so you really need to make sure you have four millimeter thick cardboard as well. Do not touch the bevel, and I'm gonna set the sides to 64. We're real quickly going to cut the holes for the wings. I need you to set this to 45. And then remember our cardboard is four millimeters thick. So we're going to put a four there. And then also let's change the height. And I find it easier to spot that one from a corner. And we're going to make it four as well. We're going to duplicate this part for the tail fin. So you can simply hit your duplicate or control D. We're going to bring it back and we're going to change its measurements by clicking on this little corner and type in a 20. We're gonna select all of these and choose a line. We're gonna use the orange as the master and we're gonna align them with the middle. We're gonna take these back two and choose a line and we're gonna align it with the orange being the master to the back edge. We're gonna select these two. Notice it says two shapes. We're gonna hit a line. Once again, the orange is the master. We're gonna tell that to be centered. We're gonna use this same part to create the notch at the front. Do control D or use duplicate. Use the arrow keys to nudge it down. And then we wanna stretch it to about 20 thick and then type 20. We're gonna line it with the front. So notice I'm touching the two shapes. Click a line and I wanna make this the master, and I just wanna align it with the front, and then I also wanna align it with the bottom. Switch your nudge to five millimeters, and we're gonna nudge it back four clicks. We're also gonna nudge it down a few clicks, set our grid back to one, and then we're gonna rotate this 10 degrees. So you can just type negative 10 to get it at the right spot. Now use your arrow keys to nudge it till you get a smooth cutout. Notice how this is gonna have a notch for us to launch with and it comes down. This would leave a silly little cut. This is gonna make it so that it is notched the way we want. We're gonna make one more tiny little notch up here so that our rubber band stays better. Let's do control D again. Make sure our grid is on one and we're gonna just pull that up in the front and we're gonna make this real short. Instead of 45, make it three. Let's fit view so we can see what we just did and I'm gonna use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. This one instead of four this way, I'm gonna make it two because all it has to do is fit a rubber band. If you wanna get it perfect to this edge, you can switch to the 0.1 millimeter grid and you can nudge it up so it's gonna cut out really slick. You don't have to be perfect on that, it's up to you. You can also turn it off and just nudge it by hand to that exact spot you want. I'm gonna zoom out so we can see everything again. And now let's grab our fuselage, group those five shapes and see what we built. So place for the wings, place for the rubber band. All right, let's quickly turn that grid back on. I'm gonna to go to my one millimeter grid and we're gonna create a cockpit. Bring out your cylinder, make it 64 sides. Stretch it out to size 30. And we'll look at it from that corner and set it to four millimeters thick again. And then just drag this down into place so that it doesn't bump into that hole I'm gonna tilt mine about 10, 12 degrees so that it looks really cool. When you've got it lined up the way you want, you can group those two pieces. And then we are gonna cut out the place for the pilot to sit with the same trick. This time I'm gonna just stretch it how I want using the black handles. 
So you've got a little bit of room to wiggle here. Let's make that four millimeters thick. And also give it the twist so that it's at the right shape. Let's group those two pieces. And you've just created the fuselage of your sweet little aircraft. Adding the tail fin is easier when it's standing up, so look at it from a corner. Rotate it 90 degrees. You can type 90 if you want. I'm going to hit D to drop, so that way it comes up to the work plane, and then scroll down and find the wedge. When you bring the wedge out, we need to rotate it as well. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. If you're having trouble with the rotation, you can simply click on that number and type it in. If that's the wrong way, check this out. You can flip it, and it's instantly the right way. I'm going to tell you the measurements, of course, are size 4. I'm going to tell you that the height that I want to use is 33. I'm keeping the 20, and then I'm aligning it like this. I'm going to do work plane and set it right here. When you click the shape and do D, it drops to that same height. Let's align them making the orange one the master and we want it to be centered and we want it to the back just so you can see this better these are the three dots and here is my back dot now we want it to go above the aircraft so we can use the lift handle or you can use control up and we just want to make sure it's above where the cutout is and then i'm going to move it a few clicks in this way just because i want it to have a little bit more strength where it's being cut out of Grab those two and group them. And then we're going to lay our fuselage back down. I'll set the work plane down first, and then we're doing that 90 degree rotation. Notice I turned it a little. Notice that it was negative. And then I'm going to type negative 90 and hit D to drop it. Let's move that out of the way. And friends, it's time to make our wings. We are going to make the wing with the roof, bring it out. Look at it from a corner and stand one up. Remember, you can rotate it a little, figure out if it's positive or negative, and then just type the number 90 so it looks the way you want. We do want it above ground, so we're going to hit D to drop. And then I'm going to tell you the measurements for this wing, and this is where it's magical because it fits in here, but then it's also adjustable. We are going to click on the bottom edge and make it 110, and we are going to click on this distance which if you're looking at the triangle would be the height of it, and we're gonna put 53. We're gonna make it four millimeters thick. And then we're gonna cut two slots so that this can slide in and then be adjustable forward and backward. We're gonna do those slots again with the box. Once again, we need to make it four millimeters thick. I'm gonna make it four millimeters high just so it looks right. Always easier to do that from a corner so you can find the correct one. We are going to need three of these, so I'm going to duplicate it twice. You can use the arrow keys to move them so you can find them apart. I'm going to take these two and click a line, click the green one, and I want it to be centered, and I want it to be at the bottom. I want this one. I'm going to once again move it so I can see that there's a separate one. And I'm going to select these two. Notice I've only touched two shapes. I'm going to hit a line, make the green one the master. Once again, I want it centered, and I want it on the top. Grab those two and group them. Because of these holes, it's going to squeeze in this smaller area and allow us to slide it forward and back. I'm going to move that out of the way, and then we're going to duplicate this for our tail fin or our horizontal stabilizer. I do want to flip it so it's looking the other way. And then we need to ungroup it and change the measurements. So there's ungroup. I'm going to delete this because I already had these made. I'm going to delete this because we only need the notch in the front for the tail fin. And the numbers we are going to use are 28 and 56. We are going to take this and instead of the full 20, we are only going to cut it in 10. What this does is it allows it to slide forward and still use that notch. Put those two close to each other, select them, choose a line. I'm going to make the green one the master and do center and choose the top spot for where it is going to be grouped. 
Friends, you have just created a awesome jet that can be cut out on the Glowforge. And there you have it, friends. Now you can choose export and choose for laser cutting. So you save it as an SVG. In my classroom, they should automatically go to the downloads. Just make sure you've got your initials after it and we can work on getting it cut out. If you're in my classroom, you need to put that file in a special spot so we can cut it. Click the arrow and choose show in folder. When you find the file, I want you to hit copy. That way you don't lose your project. And I want you to scroll down and on your list of folders, find the shared S drive. You need to find the HL, which is Harbor Lights. You need to find the projects folder. In the project folder, I need you to find the student folder and then go to the Harmon folder. Scroll through that list and I'll sort it by name quickly and find the one that says STL. And out in the space, you need to right click and do paste so that your file shows up at the top of the list. Alrighty friends, if you're in my classroom, I've got a special computer where this will already be open. You can simply follow these steps under my account because that's where it's shared. You click create and we are gonna upload from a file. It'll have a spot over here on the quick access where you can find the STL files and then bring in your tiny jet with your name. It takes a moment for it to load. When it does, you'll see if I have cardboard in here. If I do not ask for it, I'll add cardboard. We need to click the settings and we need to use cut and we need to use the 1 145 75 speed project. Notice the speed, the power, the passes, and it's four millimeters, which is our cardboard size we need to always select the material. When you click that button, we are gonna hit specify. We're gonna use uncertified and we're gonna put in our four millimeters. It'll redraw and it'll adjust, leave a little bit of room and boom, you are ready to send your file to the Glowforge. I do wanna double check your settings before you do, but all we do is hit print and then we can walk to the Glowforge and make something magical. When the file gets sent to the Glowforge, you'll see the blinking light and you can press it and it'll begin. friends once it finishes you open the lid a little bit pull out the little plastic piece and you can instantly take out your design you can leave the cardboard for the next project and any scraps that got cut out you can just throw in the little box that is right beside it once you've got your design removed you can just push the little clip in to hold the cardboard down for the next student friends assembly is super simple simply slide your wing through and then even though the wing was longer than the hole, we can slide it back and you can adjust it forward and back to find the center of gravity you think is best. You can use my scotch tape. I ask that you use just little bits, so we're taping it on one side. And then we're doing the same thing to add our tail fin. Simply slide it in the groove. This one you can also use a tiny piece of tape to make sure you lock it in place. Ask me for the clay and add a little bit of clay to the front to get the weight where you think it is right. And then it's time to go test it and see just how awesome you can make your sweet little jet fly. So friends, with your plane assembled, locked in place with a little bit of tape, you can ask me for the launcher and launching looks just like this. You can, you can hold the tail fin, it locks in, and we start with just a simple little launch. All right, friends, so this is where it gets really fun. You get to adjust this aircraft and make it as awesome as you can, adding more clay, moving the wings, seeing what you can come up with to make it so it flies straight, level, and lands the way you expect it to. Of course, you can also make another custom design staying close to these measurements so it's not using a ton of cardboard and is fast to cut, and we can test those as well. If you're out on the internet and you make a design, you can also use that cool send to command and you can send me a copy and maybe I'll actually print your design and make a video showing how your design will work as well. 
Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.